Yes, sir. It's your boy JT, and I'm back again with another video today. Uh, before we get into this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, make sure you guys subscribe, make sure you guys continue to show love. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the notifications so you can be notified when my videos do go live because you know YouTube be on a bullshit. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's get to the intro. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back again with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video today, of course. In today's video, we're going to be going over the Ultimate Legends that are going to be dropping uh, tomorrow. What is this? April the 13th? Yeah, they're 13th. So um, these Legends are going to be dropping tomorrow. Um, we're going to go over the cards, the ratings. Um, we don't have the... Um, uh, the x factors and abilities of course you know ea has never tweeted those out to us so we don't know that stuff but we're going to go over the uh, actual cards i'm actually pretty excited <laughs> as you can see on the screen i'm a little late but that's okay we still got it we still going to have a video for you guys but um this is going to be the ultimate legends that are dropping tomorrow so ea tweeted out to us of course on twitter x whatever you, you want to call it uh dante Culpepper, demarco murray let's go baby Rod and Rodney Harris ultimate legends are dropping tomorrow at mad 24 every single time it's like every single time I knew I should have kept my free ultimate legend champion pack I knew I shouldn't have used it a long time ago because they keep dropping even though I'm going to get the card anyway but they keep dropping cards that I actually that I actually am going to be getting so I'm going to have to go out my way to buy this card tomorrow but anyway um these are going to be the legends um so let's go let's go, go ahead and get into it first up we do have the ltd so the ltd is qb 99 overall strong arm dante culpepper crazy enough honestly we should have been got this quarterback a long time ago i'm not gonna lie and i'm pretty sure we were supposed to get this quarterback a long time ago but of course you know what happened the whole flip-flop switch situation a lot of people was guessing this quarterback weeks ago and we didn't get it so kind of interesting they that they put him in the game now but he's a, a ltd surprisingly because most of the time cole pepper he's a set card so this is kind of interesting that he's a ltd this this time around but 99 overall dante cole pepper 93 speed 99 throw power 97 short accuracy 94 medium accuracy 99 deep accuracy 98 throwing the pressure 98 throwing the run and 96 play action um pretty damn good um love the throw power love the deep accuracy um all the stats look pretty damn good uh speed wise 93 speed which is good as well i think this is his first card in, in madden 24 if i'm not mistaken i think this is his first co first card um if we had to do a comparison as far as who who we can compare him to um honestly right off the bat he's giving like patrick mahone vibes not gonna lie but probably with a better release to be honest with you i think i'm pretty sure this is his first card. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so he doesn't have a card in the game. But um, let's check it out as far as QBs here to see exactly who we can actually compare him to because he has 93 speed. Um, he is, he, he's not the fastest. Of course, Michael Vick is the best quarterback in the game. Like, we all know this. Um, if, if you had this card, I got this card. So Michael Vick is the best quarterback in the game. Um, yeah, l l yeah, like I said, uh, Patrick Mahomes is like very comparable because I was looking at that 93 speed and I was like, yeah, this card is like definitely comparable because Patrick Mahomes has 93, uh, Patrick Mahomes has 98 throw power, Dante Culpepper has 99, um, you know, short accuracy. What is it? Uh, he has deep, short, throw the pressure, short accuracy 97, uh, 97 short accuracy, medium accuracy 94. Uh, Patrick has 97. So yeah, he's very comparable to Patrick Mahomes. Now, what is what is his ability bucket going to be? Because literally, like I said, Vic has the best ability bucket in the game, in my opinion. He, he as far as you can get Gunslinger, you can get Pass Lead Elite, and you can get Fearless, literally for three AP. So that's like, in my opinion, it's like the God Stack, and you can get other X Factors. So. Unless you have a theme team, unless you really like Dante Culpepper, I don't really see anybody doing any too much to try to get this card. Unless he he comes with something that nobody else has, but he's very comparable to Patrick Mahomes. Um, Kirk Cousins, no, he's too slow. Terry Bradshaw, he's too slow. Eli, he's too slow. Uh, Will Levis, nah. Well, this is Levis is too um is faster. Uh, 
Matthew Stafford, he's too slow. So yeah, he's literally going to be... So if we had to put him in the top five, of course, Vic is going to be number one. Uh, Bo is going to be number two. Um, anything after that, you know, you can go... You can go anybody. Troy Aikman after that. And then, yeah, so, the, so that, that would be my top three. So after that, you can kind of toss him in there at some point. But um, a lot of better quarterbacks in the game, but he's not the worst. But that's going to be the LTD for tomorrow. Next, we have one of the set cards. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> I love this shit, man. A cowboy and one and one of the cowboys that I love, honestly. DeMarco Murray, he's always been a Madden, like a Madden legend, even though he wasn't a legend in the past, but he is a legend now. But DeMarco Murray, 98 overall, halfback, elusive back. It's just, he's like, he, like they put him in the game at the wrong time because they got the Eric Dickerson in the game from the Ring of Honor program. So he just got put in the game at the wrong time. Like I wish, I wish they would have gave DeMarco like a, like a combine card or something. Like something that actually means something because the only thing that's going to be crazy about this card is that the fact that he's not going to get no X factor. So he's not going to be better than Eric Dickerson and he, he, he's not going to be better than Bo. So unless, like I said, for me personally, I'm going to pick him up because I'm a Cowboys fan, but damn, man, I wish he was like a part of one of those programs to where like, you know, those programs, cause those programs got X factors. They got good abilities. I'm pretty sure this car may have good abilities, but he doesn't have an X factor. So he may not be relevant, but I'm glad he's a set car. Cause typically they would give Cowboys LTD cards. So this is awesome, but he has 98 speed, 95 Excel. 98 agility, 94 carrying, 84 catching, 97 change of direction, 94 trucking, 98 break tackle. Yeah, this this this, this card is pretty good. I'm I'm kind of surprised they it, they didn't go ahead and give him 99 speed because the 98 is blowing me. But uh, for sure, for sure, I'm definitely gonna be I'm definitely going to be picking up this card. Now, as far as running backs in game, like I said, it's too many good running backs in the game currently. Like right at the top, I'm putting Eric Dickerson. I'm putting Bo at the one and two. You can choose whatever one you want after that i'm kind of throwing anybody in there you can throw anybody in there to be completely honest with you um some of these tiki you got tiki you got burt um but if we're going by just 98 speed backs like you you can either throw raheem mostert in the top five um but then after that it kind of gets a little rough so um definitely he's he's going to be landing at the three or four spot in my opinion as far as top five in the game but Damn, man, I wish he would have been putting the game a lot, a lot sooner, like a lot sooner, because now, you know, there's like a meta going on and Murray doesn't really fit the meta. But if you're a Cowboys fan like I am or Eagles fan or a Tennessee Titans fan, you're going to love this card because I love it. But that's going to be one of the set cards for tomorrow. Next up, next set card, we do have 98 overall Rodney Harrison, strong safety run support. I feel like we get this card every single year at some point, but typically we would get the Rodney Harris card in the beginning of the year um but we didn't this year so this is kind of interesting of course i knew that he was going to be uh ultimate legend at some point but um he has 97 speed 97 excel 90 tackle 96 play rec 99 pursuit 90 man coverage 98 zone coverage 97 hit power i just feel like since they dropped the ring of honor program it's just it's just it's just light years better than a lot of these cards out and essentially it kind of eliminates ultimate legends some programs considering like until we get going tickets honestly some of these cards are just some of these programs that may be still going on are just so outdated at this point but this is going to be another one of the set cards um 97 speed is decent um 90 man coverage is kind of low 94 a 98 card is kind of low um but i do like the zone i like the pursuit um, i like the hit power i like the the coverage combo with the speed um, as far as strong safeties, I'm pretty sure because I know we got Troy Palomalu. We got a bunch of safeties in game recently. So let's check it out here. So, of course, Troy Palomalu is not going to be touched. He's 99 speed. We like we know that the Cromwell is pretty good. I have this card. Um, very, very comparable. 97 speed, 97 speed. I think the only difference is, is that um, Cromwell has a better man. So he has 93 man and, and uh, Rodney Harris. Rodney Harrison only has 90 man so um Cal Hamilton he's still a very popular card in game as well um kind of hard to compare him to with Rodney Harrison um I mean Cal Hamilton is very hard to compare Rodney Harrison to Cal Hamilton um so yeah it's a lot of cards in game I'm sorry but the top the top cards Troy Palomalu um and Cal Ham Hamilton those are very expensive cards but other than that you can you can kind of 
you can kind of fill in the gaps there of who you think or who could fit so you can kind of fit him up there if you want to fit him in the third or fourth slot as far as top five in the game you can definitely put him there but that's going to be it so that's going to be the last set card coming out tomorrow so the set cards are going to be rodney harrison demarco murray and then the ltd uh 99 overall date cole pepper let me know down in the comment section what you guys think of these cards if you are going to pick up any of these cards let me know as well if you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe and you guys continue to show love and we'll catch you guys on the next one